Thanksgiving is a time for family, friends, and food. And what's a Thanksgiving feast without the sides? But with so many different recipes to choose from, it can be hard to know where to start. So let me help you with this variety of Thanksgiving side dishes to choose from. First, I've got my easy cheesy broccoli casserole, then mustard greens, so healthy and so easy to make. And best of all is my sweet potato casserole, which is not your overly sweet casserole. You must try this one. So what are you waiting for? Get ready to make some delicious Thanksgiving side Happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm here to show you an easy, tasty broccoli recipe. It's broccoli and cheese baked. You don't have to mess with making a cheese sauce, it's going to make it for you. So I am making this for two to three people and we have all our ingredients here. So let's get started. Okay, I have got here a six inch baking dish and I've lightly spread butter on it. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and now I'm going to take three cups of broccoli florets. So they're small pieces. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sprinkle flour over my broccoli and I'm going to sprinkle about two tablespoons. Okay, next I'm going to sprinkle powdered garlic and it's going to be about a half a teaspoon. Next is powdered onion, a half a teaspoon. Look how easy this is. We're going to do a half a teaspoon of salt. I use kosher salt, it takes less. And about an eighth a teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. We're going to pour our milk over our floured broccoli and I am not going to use but three-fourths a cup of that milk. We don't need all of it. And then the next thing we do is put our cheese, sprinkle our cheese over across the top to cover it. Here's that smoked cheddar, it adds great flavor. Every last bit of that good cheese. Okay, next we're going to spread our breadcrumbs across the top. I don't want any of my broccoli peeking out. Let's take our butter, thinly slice it. You could actually melt your butter and pour it over, but this is so much easier. Why not do it the easy way? This is going to be about two tablespoons of butter, thinly sliced. Got it. Okay. Now I want us to cover this in foil, shiny side down, that'll keep it from getting too brown. And we're going to put this in the oven to cook from about 40 to 45 minutes. We'll check the broccoli to see if it's tender. We want to take our foil off after 30 minutes. Let's put it in the oven. It has been 30 minutes that my broccoli's been in the oven. So I'm going to remove the cover, the foil cover. Ooh. Shelf is in wrong. Careful, careful. Remove the cover. I'm going to check my broccoli and see how tender it is. Yes, it does need to cook a little more, but it is getting there. Okay. And now I'm going to leave it in there for another 10 minutes at least. To brown. Okay, the broccoli casserole was in the oven for 45 minutes. Broccoli is all tender, and so I'm ready 
to serve it up. Thicken nicely. Ooh, that looks good, nice and steamy. So I'm gonna take a bite, hopefully it won't burn myself. Mm -hmm. Very tasty. And as you saw, this was so easy to make. So why don't you give it a try? And thanks for joining. Bye now. Today I am cooking mustard greens. Mustard greens are usually what you think of in the South. They have a little bite to them, uh, a little more so than your collard greens that you would also have in the South. Or what I have out west, Swiss chard, which is very mild, and kale, which is mild. So I'm going to instruct you on how I cook my mustard greens. Okay, I have started with one bunch of mustard greens, and the first thing I do is rinse them off well, and then I take my kitchen scissors and I fold the leaf in half, and I remove the stem. Fold them again, and then I just cut into them. And we're going to cut them into smaller pieces. And this makes it so much easier to do it with a kitchen scissors than to try and do it with a knife. So let's review our ingredients. So we've chopped up our mustard greens. That was one bunch. And you can see it's about four to five cups when it's chopped. I have one garlic, however, this is a large elephant garlic, so you might want to do two to three small garlics. I'm going to have lemon juice, about a half of lemon, salt, fresh ground pepper, and two tablespoons of olive oil. And that is it. I've set my pan on the stove and turned the heat to medium. I'm going to put two tablespoons of olive oil into the pan. I measure always <laughs> one and two. Now I know you would expect me to put salt pork or bacon fat or something of that sort into this dish, but I do not. So if you're looking for a good green side dish when you're wanting to watch your calories, this would be a good one to give a try. Next I'm going to add my garlic. With the garlic, we're mainly just trying to get it to release the flavors. We do not want it to get hard and brown and crusty. So let's watch our temperature and watch our garlic. So now it's time to add our chopped mustard greens. I'm going to stir those and continue to cook these over the medium heat and stir them till they're wilted down. And then we're gonna cook them for an additional 10 minutes stirring throughout that time. So it's been 10 minutes. And as you can see, this mustard ends up acting very similar to spinach. It wilts down and looks about the same. Okay, so I'm going to turn my heat off now. And on this heart healthy green, I'm going to put some fresh ground pepper, a little sprinkle of kosher salt, and then I'm going to squeeze my lemon juice onto the greens. There you go. Okay, and let's see what these taste like. That's good. This is not your usual sweet potato casserole. This is an unusual sweet potato casserole. And it's one I've created that does not have the cinnamon and the brown sugar and the marshmallows because that's also sweet. 
I have created this recipe with spices and cheeses. Let me show you how I make it. Take four to five medium sweet potatoes, wash them well, and then peel them. Next, you're going to want to thinly slice each of the potatoes. Then take a nine inch baking dish and spray it lightly with oil. And then layer your potatoes in the bottom of the dish. We're going to make two layers in this dish. Now add your cumin, your cayenne, your salt, and your freshly ground pepper. Next, we're gonna to top that off with about one and a half tablespoons of flour. Now put your next layer of potatoes down and repeat the process of adding your spices and flour. You're going to want to also preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Now take butter, about two tablespoons, and cut it in small pieces and spread that across the top. Then I used one cup of half and half and poured it into my dish. And now the good part, add one cup of shredded Gruyere cheese. It really makes the flavor delicious. Now top that with a half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. You're going to cover your dish and bake it for 45 minutes. Mmm, look at this casserole. These sweet potatoes are delicious. You're going to love that flavor of the Greer cheese and the Parmesan cheese and the sweet potatoes and none of that sticky sweet flavor. Yum yum, give this a try.